Rev up your engines. Today I'm gonna to answer the question, which car manufacturer has the worst automatic transmissions? Now over the years, various manufacturers have made some pretty horrible automatic transmission designs. For example, up to 1973, GM had their two-speed power glide automatic. It was a pretty basic transmission, only had two speeds, you know? <laughs> Low gear and high gear, that was all that it had. And they got known as slip and slides because that's what they do, you'd step on the gas and it would slip and slip and slip and then finally grab and then when you tried to accelerate hard it would slip a lot. They weren't the greatest transmissions in the world. But they stopped making those in 1973. Now if we get into more modern times, the Ford Explorers with the 5R55W5 speed automatic transmission transmission that they made for over a decade. That was a very weak transmission that broke as they aged. As they went to these more speeds, that was a five speed automatic, they didn't get it down pat and as they aged they would break. I had more customers get rid of them because the automatic transmissions went out on those explorers, called them exploders because the transmissions would explode and they wouldn't drive anymore. But then we come even more to the present. The Honda Odyssey second generations, that was 1999 to 2004, those were horrendous automatic transmissions. Now Honda of course started out as a motorcycle company. Motorcycles make great standard transmissions. They only made one Honda automatic transmission in a motorcycle on a 750. It was a pile of junk. Their cars just always have somewhat weak transmissions for Hondas. But the Odyssey from 1999 to 2004, it was the worst one they ever made. It got so bad that I had a bunch of customers actually get free transmissions from Honda. They had kind of a secret warranty. And when I told them, I said, your transmission's out and it costs so much money. I said, but they got this kind of secret warranty said take it to Honda and they all got free automatic transmissions put in brand new ones because they were so poorly made you couldn't really rebuild the thing if you try to rebuild them they had the same flaws as the old ones they just got brand new ones and even today I'm still suspect of those Honda Odysseys I'd never advise somebody to buy one and if we go to even more modern cars take a 2007 Volkswagen new Beetle that was by far the worst transmission that Volkswagen ever put in any of their cars. They had a class action suit against them, but politics being what they are in the United States at that time, the government doesn't really do much about a lot of recalls anymore. They try to let them slide and oh they said well you can sue them under state laws because they're basically trying to give corporations a break the people that are in power these days they should have recalled them but Volkswagen hey they fought a tooth and nail and then strangely enough they get caught with their finger in a pie with that diesel stuff a few years later so you know not the most trustworthy people in the world. But those new Beetle transmissions, whoo, I had customers with them. They'd find out, oh, it's gonna cost me six grand to have another transmission put in. Some of them went out at 40,000 miles. They were terrific pieces of junk, which is kind of amazing because those new Beetles were a reasonably light car. It wasn't like they were pulling a heavy vehicle. They were just poorly designed and poorly built. But then we come to the most modern times of who I really believe make the worst automatic transmissions in the world, Fiat Chrysler. It used to be just Chrysler, but then Fiat, a not that hot company, merged with Chrysler, a not that hot company, and now they make really not hot cars. If anyone's ever owned one of those Chrysler minivans, their automatic transmissions, they were amongst the worst thing anybody ever made. I had one customer, strangely enough, he owned five of them, and each single one of them, the automatic transmission went out on. Who would buy five of them after you have four of them break down, you know? And Chrysler, they continue to keep making stuff like that. In 2017, there was a recall from Fiat Chrysler for 1.48 million Ram trucks for automatic transmission problems. And their nine-speed ZF transmission that they use on a lot of their vehicles, a lot of the Jeeps and different vehicles, that is one of the worst transmissions that Chrysler ever made too. It was actually recalled. They said their fix was a software update. Even though they admit they had wiring problems. Free that went out. You got a wiring problem, not fix the wiring. Let's reprogram the software because it would cost a lot of money to rewire them all, but it's nothing to plug in a computer and just reflash the software. And from my experience with those transmissions, those nine speed ZFs, that software fix doesn't really fix them. 
them. I've had customers do that. They're still shifting poorly. It's just a stopgap cheap way to try to get them to work okay so they're not under warranty anymore. And then, of course, they'll say, oh, you need a new transmission and charge you a fortune to replace something that they didn't build right in the first place. So the winner, or you might say loser in this case, who has the worst automatic transmissions in the world in their cars today? I would have to say it's Fiat Chrysler, which when you think about it only makes sense. You get a company Chrysler not known for high quality, being bought out by Fiat, certainly not known for high quality, or great designs that last over time. You're not going to make a merger of two negatives make a positive, you know? This isn't math. This is the real world of cars, where negative times negative is extremely negative, not positive. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.